Hello everybody, tis the season for magical festive lightings, and no one does this better in the smart home industry other than Gobi. Today I want to look at one of their most popular products this season, their outdoor lighting. Not only have I installed this on my own home, but I've also had to install these on several other clients. They're pretty popular this season. I want to talk to you about what I've experienced, some of the things that I like, and some of the things that I don't like. Some of the things that can be improved. But first, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. Let's get into it. The Gobi Outdoor Lights come in 50, 100, and 150 foot kits. They connect to your home's Wi-Fi and can be easily controlled through the app. To stick them onto your soffits, they use a VHB adhesive tape on the back and provided wire clips with screws. In the box, what you get is a power supply, the controller, light segments, depending on if you got the 50, 100, or 150 foot kit, extra VHB backing, and the wire clips. While using the app, you can make them solid colors, you can change each segment in different colors, you can use advanced lighting mode to do individual lights different colors, different speeds, you can make them breathe, you can make your own custom light automation, if you will, inside the app. You can use community created scenes. Um, you can also pair them with other devices, such as I have outdoor spotlights that sync with this, and um, they act in unison. This is just Govi's first edition of this. It's the regular one. They also make a pro version that has less lights. I think they're brighter. You can cut them and make longer runs with them. These you can't, or Govi highly does recommends that you don't. They do have a one year warranty and I believe cutting these voids that warranty. Overall, it's a great product. It looks great at night and people seem to love them. All right, let's start with what's good about this product. The lights. The lights themselves are amazing. They're nice, they're bright, they're colorful, they're everything you want in outdoor lighting. Um, they have really cool scenes. And if you don't like those scenes, you can make your own or steal one from the community, like I mentioned in the overview. Um, I haven't had any issues with the lights looking off, burning out, and I've had them up since the summer. And the summer in Texas was hot. It was 110 some days, and I haven't had any damage. So they're they're well built for being outdoors as well. Um, next, I would have to say the app itself. Gobi has a great app. It's really easy to add new devices, control your devices, pair devices, um, and everything that it offers. Aside from being easy to install in the app, they're pretty easy to physically put up. You just clean the spot that you want to put them on, peel off the back, stick them up, add your clips where Gobi recommends you add them, and then you're pretty much done. It took me an hour to do my whole entire house. On other houses that I've done with multi-layers, it takes a little bit longer. You have to figure out where your power source is, how you want the run to go. So that took about three to four hours, if you're using the right tools. We'll get into that later. And another great thing is, these are permanent, sort of. We'll get into that in the cons, but I bought these because I was tired of putting Christmas lights up every year and taking them down every year. It was just an annoyance for, what, a few weeks out of the year? These stay up. You can use them for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Labor Day if you want to, Veterans Day, I use mine for Veterans Day, 4th of July, I mean, the list goes on and on. You can make one for any holiday you want, birthdays, and any celebration. They look really neat. And then on top of that, when they're up, and you can also use them for just accent lighting on your house to make it look really nice. Overall, this is a great product. I'll start off by saying I love Gobi. I love their products. I love this product. But that doesn't mean there's not a few things wrong with it. First off, they don't stay up. If you use Gobi's recommended installation, they don't. But using the, you can use the clips, you can clean the, the surface with whatever you want to. I've used alcohol, I've used regular cleaner. I've even used uh, a scrub brush using demineralized water 
to leave no film, they don't stay up permanently. Um, I mean, really, how could you expect it with adhesive? Um, the clips aren't enough. Um, it, you almost need two per light to keep them up permanently. And even that, the, the adhesive doesn't stay up and they'll, they'll, they'll fall and kind of shine incorrectly on your house. A big thing about these lights is how they wash your, your walls. Um, and if you have them off or not in a straight line, they won't color them right, if, if that's the best way to put it. Um, it's an annoyance when you walk out every day and you see one fell. So you go, you fix it, and then the next day, another one fell. Two then fell, three then fell. If you don't fix them right away, they, the weight will start pulling the whole run down. And then it's just a mess and it's annoying and you constantly having to go out there. I, I think every other day I have to go out there and fix them, um, or I did up until I did something else. So yeah, they don't stay up even with Gobi's recommended installation instructions. I mentioned you need two clips per light, but you don't have enough in the bag to do that. You have enough and some extra to do four per run, which is not enough. That, that adhesive is not going to hold the whole thing. And it's bothersome because I feel like there should have been enough clips to hold them up. And then let's just talk about the clips themselves. They suck. It's made for indoors. They have the adhesive on the back and then they have these tiny little crappy screws. Those screws drive me nuts. They're not built for hardy board, which is most of the modern houses in the US. I feel like they were maybe meant for wood. Definitely work on drywall because they're the same clips that other, that they ship with their indoor LEDs. Works great for those to keep them in place, not for outside. Um, so with all that combined, it makes it really difficult sometimes to actually hang these lights if you're constantly fighting with the screws. Uh, me and my partner were up on 20-foot ladders on the side of people's houses, spending hours fighting with a screw just to get it to go on the hardy board. We quickly learned that these screws suck, these clips suck. They don't even do the job right. And then on top of that, we had to go back and rehang them because they fell. The entire runs fell off and we'd have to go back out the next day and, and put it back up. So th this is one of my big issues. If they're supposed to be permanent lights, you would think that they stay up. Once you put them up, they don't come down. That's what permanent means. This is not the case with these. They they don't stay up very well. And in my experience on every house until we got it right and started getting the right products in the right tools, we'd have to go out and do rework all the time. And you know, I, that's annoying for a business because you're losing money every time you do that. But I mean, it's infuriating for a homeowner. You, you want your lights to stay up, you want to show off. Because when these things are put up the first time and they're perfect, your whole entire neighborhood wants to come see it because it's awesome. We have people drive by my house just to see the lights. They're a really cool product, but they're hanging down and they're all floppy. It's it's a terrible eyesore and it looks like crap. So this needs to be addressed. This needs to be fixed. In the next section, I'll talk about how I fixed it. But, you know, that's my main gripe with this. Other than the fact that the only other issue I've had with these and I've seen reported in forums and in people reaching out for help is the lights will sometimes freak out this is due to some electrical interference they'll be doing their normal scene and then they'll just start blinking and flashing and doing all kinds of crazy stuff you think they're about to blow at least i did when i first saw it i found out it's an electrical interference issue um i just swapped out the extension cord that was on there and it, i haven't noticed it since but i've heard people having to get in touch with govi and they just send a new box and I'm not an electrician so I don't know what could be causing that interference but that is a thing that happens even though they have this huge power supply that looks like it can handle power surges and all kinds of stuff um, but those are the things that are wrong with it the lights themselves are great just like all Govi's products it's just the hang hanging them and the permanent part of it is is not right So I'm not just going to gripe about it and not at least give some advice or improvements that Gobi can make to better this product. Um, things that I've found that really help and make these truly permanent lights is 3D printed brackets. There, there's a whole community out there. If you go to the Gobi Facebook page or 
their forms. There are a bunch of people 3D printing these brackets that kind of go over the light and have two screw points. These brackets truly make these permanent. They hold them up, they slot in perfectly if you get them printed correctly. Um, with the added benefit of two screws per one, if you use the right screws, not the ones that are provided, I used Rockwell Hardy Board screws. You can get them at Home Depot and Lowe's. They're amazing. They make the job so much faster. They work really well with a power drill, whereas the other ones were very difficult to put on the end of a power drill and keep there because they're so small and shallow. These go in with no issue and those brackets are not coming down. Even if that adhesive doesn't hold, those brackets are firmly on those lights that they're not coming down. Um, all my clients that I've done the brackets with, I've never had to go back for re rework. They've never complained. They do it right the first time, get the brackets and the screws. I don't know why Govi hasn't made this themselves. I mean, these brackets have been around for about a year since this product was built. Someone out there 3D printed some. Um, it wouldn't be hard for them, even if they had to charge a little bit more, but this would make these truly permanent. I've seen other solutions out there that use track. Basically, you have to get custom cut track. You install it to the soffit. It holds the lights in there. It looks really nice. It's really cool. One thing I have found, though, is if you have an electrical problem, you won't know until your house is on fire. That's why I don't use those. Um, but I think Govi should actually use better insulation hardware. Like they should make their own brackets and send better screws, not these little drywall screws. Um, and if they're not gonna do the brackets, they need to use a better adhesive. We actually started just peeling the VHB off because for whatever reason it didn't hold and we went and bought some high strength, uh, just 3M adhesive tape that you can buy at Lowe's and Home Depot, stuck that on there and they didn't come back that, down for a long time. Granted, there's still a chance that they will come down due to humidity and moisture, but it's better than what's supplied. Um, I don't know why they didn't use a better tape, or maybe it worked whatever in whatever conditions that they originally set them up in, but the current VHB will randomly go down. I have some that stay up forever, and I have some that go down. Uh, another improvement they can make, Gobi just needs to sell those three prong extensions that come. You get one for 100 foot, you get two with 150 foot. Having spare just extension cables, the three prong ones without the lights, um, makes doing multi-level houses a lot easier because you don't have to use lights to make the run. I've seen it to where people have laid lights on top of the, their roof shining upwards and it just looks funny. These extensions were meant to not have that and get to where you need to go. Like I said, with the Pro version, you can they fix this with the Pro version. They Where you can cut them and then put these extensions on. But I don't know why they just didn't make, make it to where you could buy these separate. That would fix all the problems. Um, so that's my recommendation to make this product better. A lot of it has to deal with the installation of it. Like I said before, these things don't stay up very well. Not like you would expect something labeled permanent to stay up. But if you use the brackets, use the right screws, they're, they're not coming down. And it makes the job way easier. It turns a four hour job. If you're using the wrong tools, it turns a four hour job into a 12 hour job. So with all that being said, my final thoughts are this is still a great product. For lighting, it, it looks great on the house. Um, the installation can be tricky, but if, like I said, you get the right tools, either go if you start making these brackets and putting them in the kits, or you as the consumer, go out and find somebody that can 3D print it. I have a guy for 3D printing. I can get him to make me whatever I want. But the community itself is pretty cool in the fact that it's not hard to find somebody that was willing to sell you these brackets to make your job a lot easier. Um, Get the right screws. Be safe. Um, me and my partner have been in really high places. Make sure you have the proper safety equipment. Uh, Tie-offs, the right ladders. Make sure you have an extra person to hold the ladder. So the last thing you want to do is fall from a height of you know 24, 24 feet and shatter your leg like one of my clients did. That's why they hired us to come out there because he wasn't getting on that roof anymore. These 
go up underneath the soffit. They, they, you, it's going to be very hard to get on top of your roof like you would with traditional Christmas lights and put them on. You'll need somebody spotting underneath and that just makes the job harder, longer, and you're not going to hang them right. So if you don't have the right equipment or you don't feel comfortable being up in high places like that with nothing underneath you but a ladder, hire a professional. Um, other than that, these things are amazing. They, they really brighten up your house. They're all in all year around spectacle. Um, I highly recommend them. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, again, leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.